Okay. Hello, everybody. It's me, Arsenic Soup. And today, <laughs> I'm going to be playing Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I have not played this game before. I purposely stayed blind. I've looked at the original game, but not the Ultra Deluxe version. And apparently, it's quite different, so I'm just going to go into this 100% blind and split. The end is never the end, the end is never... The end is loading. Hold on, let me shut the door to my bedroom. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Whoa. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his mm. desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. Seems like it'd be great in. might have considered it so working, Indeed. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly. Just hope he makes and then one good day, money. Something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to How the fuck does it take no you that long? Up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Whoa. Okay, I'm in control. Wait, why does he get his own office, but some others don't? Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting hmm. Perhaps he had simply missed yeah, a memo. I live in Finland. None of these doors worth 20. Of course, there's a plant growing right next to it. It's very basic. This is like the back rooms. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fuck you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Wait, what does that say? You all. Oh. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley oh. took the first open door. On Fax the left. machine looks dirty. First open door to the left. No, nope, nope, nope. I am not going down that way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Oh, no. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets no. to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged <laughs> to his death. Okay. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. 
Okay, well that was stupid. So I basically instantly fucking killed my- Okay, no. I'm gonna listen to him. Cause I'm gonna like die. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, no, going back. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's see this. Yeah, I guess we do really live in Finland. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh, stinky. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Gee. Wait, let it ball up inside you, take it out, out passive aggressively. On. This one's your common. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Everyone is you, unique, you most of all. Yeah, I can see this. Too many gingers, though. Number of slides on this slide. Charts, charts and slides, slides. <laughs> it's funny. To do, synergize core value. Read out. <laughs> funny. Okay, well, this is, anyways, it's getting boring. What is it? Whoa. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Remember when I stayed in the break room for a little while? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah. I was gonna say. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 28. Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to no, think I'm what fucking not. was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. Okay, hold on. Two, eight, four, five. Okay, I'm trying. Fucking fine. Incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input oh. the correct code by sheer. What the? Amazing. No. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay, I'm moving. It's freaking me out. This is gonna be dumb. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna get jump scared. Is this elevator gonna fall? Close my door. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel attack? this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. It was not safe. Wait, what if I just went back up? Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stan 
only actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Wait, can I not press? I don't even have a shadow. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after Fuck the other, you. weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. You damn should be. Okay. Okay, good. I can go back down. Incredible. No. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Because I'm a genius. People don't realize how smart I am. Like, I won my school's geography B a little while ago. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Could escape. No, I'm not gonna do it. I think I need to stop this. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Whoa. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Oh my gosh. Workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, that person has been fired. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? You realize you're doing the same shit. No. He refused to believe it. He oh, couldn't he could jump in this game so I could just kill myself. In someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle... Oh! Was I not supposed to do that? Where am I? Was it over? Yes. He had won. What? He had defeated the machine. 
unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere We're going to Helsinki. Away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it doesn't matter. Knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. But happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be. Oh. And that was all he needed. This is Colorado. It was perhaps That's the a only thing. Icky British man. Doing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Nope. Not gonna. gonna happen if I just don't. So I don't think anything's happening. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Stanley was happy. I'm, I'm discontent. That was lame. No, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing where I just disagree. <laughs> Get your first achievement. <laughs> gonna do the thing where I just yeah disagree with all the options. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay, we're not gonna Look, jump Stanley, off. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? No. Nope. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Yep, Are you I don't that care about convinced you. that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier is this if we looping? just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. Jesus. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, 
I say I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> No, wait, where are you going? Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Ha ha ha, you can't stop me. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't trip. take this Holy from shit. me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. No. No! <laughs> oh. Thank God, you lived. You have been worried there for a, a moment. Sad. No. Holy shit. No, no, Jesus. what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? I don't know why. Stanley? Let's go back to the other room. Oh, I'm walking slower. Me? Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? No, perhaps not. I'm kind of getting for a feel of how this game works. My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? I don't, man. Did you I throw just... yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? I don't, I'm not. Please, I'm sorry. to move on. Oh god. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was no, if you actually want to stay alive. Or are you just teasing me? I'm, I'm going. I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. It is. Don't lose hope, man. But I gotta move on with the ending, so I'm killing myself. Um. mouse sounds like but okay I can't jump <sighs> I remember one time in, when I was young I got in trouble for like jumping a lot during class I don't even know why Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. I'm so sorry, man. That was just that was just the only way I could get out of it. Um you know, I don't have infinite time. I have to explore things, you know. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. 
feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What's this? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeated? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief, Stanley felt, to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. Looks like there's like One, he dust was in amazed there. he hadn't asked yeah, himself. Bestos. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words oh. was quite a shock to Stanley. I can't do everything. All, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this the was, hell? in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of Am the mattress. Am I going to wake up now? Back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Oh, cat. He thought to himself, I'm through with so this. I just end it by waking I wish it up. To be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Okay. I am okay. What the fuck? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be Why is everything going Where red? And everything went black. Oh my god. What?
What the this is the story fuck? of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed what? on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, what and by no. extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. I don't know. What? That was sad and strange and scary, but it was also bizarrely comforting. I feel like that describes this game very well. Anyways, I okay, just plugged in my mechanical keyboard, so and I have better control options. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting what? room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, uh from here, it's, um, left. Oh, no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Okay. I got all the time in the world. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top... Okay. All of a 
his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Whoa. Every single door open. Oh no. Okay, good. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, no. I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why what? not? co-workers were gone what could it mean stanley decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo okay yep it's worse i might be remembering this wrong it's possible the story is back where we just came from why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. What? Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, You're Stanley? Blue well, do you know what? I'm Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Oh, it keeps on happening. Oh, hey. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Whoa. Okay. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Nope. Here's a thought. 
Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being by the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Yes, this okay. is oh, exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I think it's even like the non-linear part of it. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Okay. Past it. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must really be a reverse like door that leads here. Very and that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. Wait, the what? confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? Yeah, so now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? 
My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I don't want it to be. I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer to stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Uh-oh. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's yeah. desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, that's very comforting. Jesus. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track.
At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There we go, Stanley. Oh, no. Fuck. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. It's dark. Oh. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Oh my God. Do you see now? now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Sections have been added and altered throughout development, but the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Yeah, it's my, my computer. Filing cabinets. Okay. So one person is the person is installing like Excel or something. Another person's playing solitaire. And another person is looking through the employee database. These computers look to be like I'll assume Windows 95 or something. Mix of keyboard stroke and synth. So that's not how it's pronounced it. Gidges Van Kooten, Malty Dittman, Jacob Janerka, Jacob Gavelli, Simon Boxer, Mika Laddie, Luck Allen, DeRaymont, Cass Van DePaul, Wan Norazura. That's stupid names, I just. See, no, I'm kidding. Giannis. Giannis Yonids, Blake Robinson, Christian Bacher, Robin Arnott, Eduardo Ortiz, S Siddhartha Barnhorn, oh, Kevin McLeod, no way. Twenty second century toy. Anyways, whoa, this is interesting. Office clock, that is actually not synced up to real time. I thought it was going to be because I had to enter in time for me right now. It? Freedom and I, okay.
countdown. What is the countdown ending? Monitor room elevator. Count. I. Okay, what is the countdown? Let me. Game design markup. Jeez, I hope it's not like that. Strength of this level got William Hyde to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic way of the smart up blah 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 blah. Still in the game. Stanley's office. Okay, let's change all the assume this is the final one. So what do I do now? Can I sharpen my pinky? Something? Yeah, I might do more videos on this game. Seems like it would be fun to... Huh. Some pe people who like shooters. People who like shooters? Well, if you like a shooter, then what the fuck? Oh wait, no, they meant fucking shooter games. Never mind, I'm special. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. These are the credits. Yeah. So. Huh. Well, I think that's where I'm gonna end off today's video. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely make another video on this game. Anyways, um, remember to like, subscribe, um, send money to me. <laughs> Don't do that. And yeah, KK, love ya. Bye.